kick it, Jackie Chan. Oh, Jamar Chase with the dive. You know, Garrett Wilson's wide open. Garrett Wilson, touchdown Barrett. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video here in the World of Juice channel and welcome not only to another video, but welcome to a new year. Happy New Year everyone. It is January 1st, 2024. It is a new year full of endless possibilities not only for you guys but for me and my channels and the growth and i'm excited to bring you guys along for the ride and we'll see where 2024 goes i i have a good feeling about 2024 i think uh considering what was going on at the end of 2023 with november and december being some of my best months of my entire career on youtube uh thanks to all of you guys I think that we got some good things planned for 2024. I've obviously been cooking up some some interesting ideas, including this video right here. Um, but I, I got a good feeling about 2024. I think some some good things are going to happen. I, I have a feeling that uh, the channel will uh, take on a life of its own in 2024, I should say. So with all that being said, Happy New Year. Glad you could stop by and celebrate the new year. Celebrate the first day of 2024 with your boy and the Juice Club. Welcome in and let's get into the video. It is going to be how powerful are playbooks in Madden 24? Specifically two playbooks. Kansas City's offense and Dallas's defense. Now you may be wondering, Juice... We've already seen countless people and countless videos about how these playbooks are super, super strong, and they are. I am full of greats. You guys see my rebuilds. I always go to the, the Kansas City offense or to the Miami offense or uh, whoever else is super powerful, 49ers offense and defense, Dallas's defense, obviously Buffalo, Baltimore, like all those kind of, we know the, the playbooks in Madden 24 that are super, super overpowered, but today is we're going to take it one step further. So... I've talked about how in Kansas City's offense, you can have a tight end that is literally like a 50 overall normal development, and by like two or three seasons, he's already an X-Factor, he's already an 85, 90 overall, because that's just how powerful Kansas City's playbook is for tight ends. Now, we're going to be taking that a step further and going to the quarterback position in Kansas City's offense. It's not going to be Patrick Mahomes, it is going to be Carson Strong. One of the worst quarterbacks overall wise in Madden 24. We are going to be implanting him into Kansas City's offense. I have added a few pieces around the team, both on offense and defense, to give him the best chance to develop. But we are going to see how quickly a quarterback that is not good can develop with a good team around him and these overpowered playbooks. We're going to go a couple of seasons, see how fast he develops. And figure it all out. Maybe he doesn't develop. That's what this experiment's about. So I hope you guys go on and enjoy. If you do, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club again. Happy New Year. Thanks for spending your New Year's Day with ya boy. And let's get into the video. So here we are. Like I mentioned, I added a few pieces. We obviously have our guy. We'll get to that in a second. We have our guy, Carson Strong. Six foot three, 226 pounds, 23 years old, out of Nevada. He is not great. But I picked him specifically because he has the most well-rounded stats of any of the free agent quarterbacks that were in, obviously, free agency. He's got 92 throw power. He's got 71 deep, 70 mid, 76 short. His awareness is very bad, so that could uh, hinder him. And we obviously know from his draft um, process that he is a statue in the pocket. But that is okay, because we don't need him to scramble around. We, we're going to be simulating most of the time anyway, so it's not even going to matter him running around. That's literally not going to matter. But I was going through all the free agent quarterbacks, and I was trying to see who would fit this challenge the best. And then I decided, you know what? Let me go with the most well-rounded guy who has the most evenly matched accuracies across the board. And Carson Strong was that guy. And plus, he has 92 throw power, so I thought, you know what? That might help out a little bit. So, uh... We're going to go with Carson Strong here. He is a 56 overall, and you may be wondering, where's Patrick Mahomes? He's right here. I just made him super, super bad. 
And by super, super bad, I mean I just took down his throw power and his awareness. I didn't, didn't touch any of his other attributes. That just shows you how strong awareness and, and throw power are for a quarterback in Madden, how much they value it. Those are literally the only two stats that I, I moved, and he's down to a 49 overall. So Patrick Mahomes won't matter in this video. It's going to be the Carson Strong show. And I also lowered Blaine Gabbert's overall a little bit because he was, he was higher overall than Carson Strong. So I, I wanted Carson to be the guy no matter what, even if we simulate and we generate best lineup, I didn't want him to get moved out at all. So he's going to be our guy for the entire video. That's what the video is based on. But now, I mentioned how I added a few pieces. I added Tristan Wirfs and Panay Sewell to the offensive line to give him the best opportunity to not get sacked a bunch. So that is what I did there. I gave him a couple extra receivers because we all know that the Kansas City Chiefs do not have any good receivers. So I added Calvin Ridley, Brandon Ayuk, and Puka Nakua to the roster. They still have Hardman, Kadarius Tony, Rishi Rice. They still have all these guys. I just added um, Ayuk and Ridley to the team to give, once again, Carson Strong the best opportunity. We still have Pacheco and Edwards Alaire. And then on defense, obviously we still have Kelsey. And then on defense, I added Greg Rousseau, Christian Wilkins, uh, Tui Tui Poloto, Jabril Peppers, Christian Gonzalez, Reed Blankenship, Deron Bland, Martin Emerson. I added a few guys around the team to make this team good because we want to have that good morale. If you have the good morale, that makes everybody play better, that gets the stats better, and it gives all of those better opportunities for Carson Strong to grow. That is the whole point of this video. We want to see if this Kansas City playbook, with the additions to this roster, will allow for uh, my main man Carson to be good. So we're going to change the defensive playbook to Dallas, because that's what I said. We're going to rock the two most overpowered playbooks. We are going to make sure that we have the best scheme fits, which we have West Coast Zone Run, and we could probably rock something else here. Nah, we'll rock a base 4-3, 84% scheme fit, and we will we'll go with this. We're going to simulate Season 1. We'll see how Carson, uh, Carson wins. Carson Strong does, and then we'll go from there. I don't know how long this is going to take, but I want to see how high of an overall we can get Carson Strong. That's the whole point of the video. So I'm going to simulate season one and I will catch back up with you guys when I'm done. We have finished up season number one and it looks like uh, having a quarterback that's actually good is a big thing in Madden because we went five and 12. We were very, very bad, but good news is we've got ourselves a decent looking development of the boy Carson Strong. Remember, he started as a 56 overall. He is now a 63, playing down to a 61 with bad morale. But he is developing very, very quickly. And we will see his stats in a second. But we will see when we get to Super Bowl week if he goes up to star development. That would be very, very helpful for his development if he goes up to star. Let's take a look at these stats. How did Carson Strong do? So he finished with... 4,200 yards, 26 touchdowns to 35 picks. That is a lot of interceptions from our quarterback. Uh, not surprising, though. Pacheco had a fine season. Ayuk had a good year. Kelsey had a good year. Uh, Nick Bolton led the team in tackles, as you would expect. I think the reason, or I think uh, being in Dallas's playbook probably helped us win a few games that we shouldn't have. Like that Chargers game that we won in week 18, in the final week of the season. But Carson Strong's not going to win any awards, that's for sure. Now, at least not in year one. But we're going to hopefully get a star development from him. And then season two, we will hopefully have ourselves a pretty good year and go from there. So it's Texans and 49ers in the Super Bowl. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Who's going to win it? It's going to be the Texans who win the Super Bowl. Okay. Do we have any upgrades from Carson Strong? We don't. It's all of the practice squad guys, it looks like. So we will auto-upgrade all of them. We'll take a look at season recap, and then we will check Carson Strong, see if he has himself star development now. Uh, Blake Cashman is the MVP of the Super Bowl. Lamar Jackson wins MVP of the league. Bijan and Byron Young are the rookies of the year. Saquon and Micah Parsons are your players of the year. So that is what the awards look like let's quickly take a peek see if we've got ourselves star development from carson strong he doesn't oh Ayuk goes up to superstar which is cool but i kind of needed him to have star development after season one for him to to look like he was going to progress greg Rousseau is a x factor right now that's one of the reasons why i picked greg Rousseau to have on this team because he just goes crazy 
with his development, his progression in, in Madden. I don't know why. I picked a lot of guys that do pretty well in simulation, so that's why I picked them. But I also am going to go and change another setting here. We are going to go and change this to uh, no salary cap. We're going to turn salary cap off because it's not about rebuilding the team. We're not trying to rebuild a team here with Carson Strong. I'm just trying to um, keep the same team around him so that we This is about Carson Strong. If you want to see me rebuild a team with Carson Strong at quarterback, uh, let me know. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about just keeping the team around me, around Carson Strong, and bringing everybody back. So we are going to offer literally whatever we need to to bring these guys back because we want this is the team that I picked specifically for this rebuild so or for this video. So we're going to offer these contracts. Willie Gay is back. Uh, honestly, you don't matter too much, but we'll bring you back anyway since you're here. He wants to come back anyway. That's perfect. Uh, Johnson will bring back just because we need him, I guess. We don't, we don't really need him, but we'll bring him back regardless. So he's coming back. I don't think there's anybody that's super, super important here. No, there's not really anybody. We'll bring all these guys back, though. And if they don't want to come back, that's totally fine, I guess. But we will offer them the money regardless. Offer the right guard a bunch of money. He should accept that. We'll get to this dude... I just offered him a six-year deal in accident. I wasn't trying to offer him a six-year deal, promise me. And Carson Strong is here. We'll offer him a seven-year deal since this video is about him. I also made a number zero, by the way, because I thought that'd be funny. And that is what we're going to offer Carson Strong. He's coming back, so he's locked up for seven seasons. Absolutely beautiful. We'll bring back Jet McKinnon. I didn't even realize he changed his name to Jet. I thought it was always Jarek, but whatever. You do you, my guy. And we'll bring back Tommy Townsend as well. So that we have ourselves a punter. Okay, that's everybody brought back. I don't think I'm going to sign any free agents. I'll take a little peek at free agency. I'm not going to do the draft. I'm going to auto-draft auto, auto uh, draft the... Auto-simulate the draft, I guess. Uh, I want to keep this team basically how it is. So, is there anybody here that would help the team out? We already have a pretty solid team. Chidobi Awuzie would be the only guy I could think about. But he wouldn't matter too much. We have, we have good corners anyway. So, we're going to basically fly through this offseason. We don't really even need to be here so <laughs> we're gonna simulate past the draft and all that stuff see if the cpu drafts is anybody good i guess that would be um cool if they did but it's not gonna affect the team any at all unless they draft some unbelievably good player i mean we went five and twelve we're gonna have a pretty good pick i would i would assume top five maybe i don't know how, re how the rest of the teams did around the league to determine our spot we could take a look at that mock draft see exactly where we are but I would assume we're going to be pretty good or have a pretty good pick. And we need to see that progression from Carson Strong. That is for sure. So we'll take one look at the mock draft just to see where we're picking. We are picking with the fifth pick and they have us taking a tackle. You know what? If they want to take a tackle, that's fine. I specifically got Panay Sewell and Tristan Wirth so we didn't have to worry about tackle. But hey, it is what it is. Simulate the draft. Take whoever you want. It's not the point of the video. It is not the point of the video. We will take a little peek skis at the recap just to see how good the players are that they took. All right, here we go. Let's take a little peek. How good were the players that we got? We got a 75 overall tackle. Not great. A running back that seems to be okay. He's got 92 speed, 90 excel, 86 agility. He looks like a pretty solid running back. All right, that's, that's good. Very, very good. We got a couple solid players. They're not going to really matter unless that running back has a, a huge breakout or something, but it's not going to really matter. Season two is going to be crucial because Carson Strong's getting a little bit better. He's got obviously a great team around him, so we don't have to worry about that. We just need to see that progression. He needs to cut down on those intercepts. That's probably why he didn't go up to start because he had 35 picks. PX? But we need to see the progression from Carson Strong. He's already almost a 64 overall. I'm hoping he can get to a 68 by the end of the season. Almost a 70. If he can get to almost to a 70 by the end of the season, by the end of season two, we're going to be in a good spot. Especially if he gets a start of element. His accuracies are already getting up there. We're improving his awareness, which is really, really good. And obviously his throw power is great already. So he's in a good spot. It's just going to take a little bit longer. So I will catch you guys at the end of season two with an update on Carson Strong's progress. We finished up season number two. 
We did a little bit better, I guess. We went 6 and 11 instead of 5 and 12. Carson Strong is a 69 overall, I think. Nice. Uh, he had another season where he was throwing a lot of picks, but hey, that's a lot less than 35. I'll take that. 23 touchdowns, 3,800 yards, 60% completion percentage. We're seeing slow progression from Carson Strong. And that just goes to show you that even with a great team around you like we have, like I've put together here for, for Strong, even with a, a great team around you, you're still going to struggle in simulation and with the great playbooks like Dallas and, and uh, Kansas City's playbooks. You're still going to struggle even with a low overall quarterback. So we are seeing that oh, crucially the awareness is going up. That is really, really big. That's really important. His throw power actually went up by one. His accuracies are getting really good. I'm liking that. So, I mean, it's going to happen. He's already a 69 overall or 68 overall, I should say. So he's already getting up there. And that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see him be very close to a 70 by the end of season two, because in season three, he could certainly take himself up to 74, 75 overall. And then once he's a 74, 75, then he's going to just skyrocket. So we're, we're getting there. It's going to take a while, but we are getting there. Actually, it's not going to take a while for you guys. It's going to take a while for me, but we are certainly making progress with Carson Strong. As long as we don't draft a quarterback that is higher overall than Carson Strong, we should be good. And look at that. It's Dallas defense making it to the Super Bowl. That's why we picked them. And that is why we have them on our, as our play, as our scheme fit. And we will make sure that Carson Strong doesn't have an upgrade. He doesn't. It's all the practice squad guys. So we will auto upgrade that. And maybe he's got star development now. I don't know. That's a possibility. Season recap. We have Demarcus Lawrence win an MVP. Uh, Dak won MVP of the league. CeeDee Lamb and Miles Garrett are the players of the year. So that is your awards. Let's take a look, see if there's any upgrades. Do we have any progression from the boys? Still no upgrade for Carson Strong. I think he's still having too many interceptions in a season for him to have a good upgrade, but no offensive upgrades, no defensive upgrades as well. We don't have any progression on dev traits other than, than uh, last season when we had Greg Rousseau go up to X Factor. Very interesting. I did re-sign all of the players except for one, Trent McDuffie, because he needed to uh, accept his option. I couldn't do that till the end of the season. So we don't have to worry about anybody in free agency. I think I think we're going to be good. I think we are. We'll just accept the option on, on Trent McDuffie just to get that out of the way. And then we will take a peek in free agency, a little pop in, see who's available. And then we'll go to the draft again and we'll we'll get it done. I really think that we are on the cusp of Carson Strong becoming a, a household name in the NFL. There's nobody here that is any good. It's all old people that are past their prime. So we will go to the draft period. I don't, I don't know. I, I just, I got a sneaky suspicion. I don't know if it's going to be season three or if it's going to be season four, but I, I just feel like Carson Strong is just that little bit away. I mean, you saw, he started as a 56 overall player. He's now almost a 70 in two seasons. And yes, he does have an inflated team around him. It's not the base Kansas City roster that uh, he started with, but think about where he would have been if I didn't have that. He might not be as good as he's doing right now, so we want to give him the best opportunities to succeed because other than that, he's not going to do much. So we will skip the draft. I think we're going to have a pretty similar pick to what we just had last season because we finished one win better. So we're probably going to have around sixth or seventh pick, I would guess. Or maybe teams did, every team did really well. So six wins is the best or the worst record. That's also a possibility, but I doubt it. There's usually at least two teams that finish like three or two wins every season. Draft recap, how did it go? We had the fifth pick again, so for the second year in a row, we took a right outside linebacker, 74 overall. Hooker, hardly know her. 73 overall safety, and then a 73 overall tight end. See, oh, from Ohio State, look at that. But does he have a development trait? He does. We could turn this guy into something special. Jason Frazier could certainly turn into something special. If Travis, if Travis Kelsey retires in the span of this simulation, we could turn that guy into a, a main 
talent. And that would go along with my theory, or my it's not really a theory at this point, it's been proven, that any tight end can be an X factor in the Kansas City offense. You just have to have a quarterback that's along for the ride. So we will generate the best lineup. There we go. And they actually have this dude who we're going to cut because Carson Strong is the quarterback, the only quarterback for me. Pook is actually playing pretty well. He's a high overall now. But Carson Strong's going to be the quarterback. We will cut the other dude. <laughs> not physically. <laughs> I'm not going to physically cut the man. But we are going to release him from his chains, from his bondage. And we will move on to season number three. We've got a 69 overall quarterback. Well, 68 with the morale. He's a 69. He's got good accuracies for right now. His awareness is getting good. I want to see that progression in season three. So I will catch you guys when I'm finished with season number three. Season three finished. And we took a big step. I told you, man. I told you season three was going to take the next step. We went 10 and 7. Didn't win the division, but... Three teams finished 10 and 7. We just happened to have, uh, we lost the tiebreaker, it looks like, in week 18, we lost to the Raiders. So that's a little upsetting. But Carson Strong, he has taken that next step. I hope that he's gotten himself star development for next season. And Frazier has an X Factor. Oh my God, we don't even have to worry about getting him up to an X Factor. He's got it already. Frazier is unbelievable. Good draft pick by the CPU. But Carson Strong is playing up to a 75 overall. He's a 73 uh, totally now, but. Look at that. His awareness is going up. His accuracies are great. Carson Strong's finally becoming a serviceable NFL quarterback, which is exactly what we needed him to do. Let's take a look at his stats, see if he has earned himself star development. He finished second in the league in passing yards, so that's nice. Oh, absolutely star development for Carson Strong. 4,400 yards, 39 touchdowns to just 17 picks. He is, he's gotten himself quarterback of the future tag. He's, oh, he's arrived. Carson Strong has arrived. It's taken us a little bit of time, but he has officially arrived. And Puka might have gotten himself star development as well. That's a fantastic year. But he has finally, finally arrived on the scene. It's taken him three years, but that's what happens when you start out as a 56 overall. He is almost gone up 20 overalls in three seasons that's pretty impressive that is pretty impressive Carson Strong is becoming the guy here in Kansas City Patrick Mahomes who who I never heard of him never heard of him I don't know who that is all I know is Carson Strong it is the Falcons and the Colts why do the Colts and Falcons always simulate so well I mean, I understand the Colts because they have, like, Anthony Richardson, who probably progresses three years in and is probably a pretty solid overall. But, I mean, you got Atlanta, who really has nobody except for Bijan, I guess. But is Bijan good enough to carry you? I guess. Maybe the Falcons playbooks are so good. But the Colts won anyway. It's Chase Young. Chase Young's made his way over here for some reason to Indianapolis. All right. Lamar Jackson's the MVP of the league. Bijan and Joey Bosa are the players of the year. So, I guess Bijan is good enough to carry. That answers my question. <laughs> I guess Bijan is good enough, but we got to see star development for both Puka and Carson Strong here. We didn't get star development for Carson. We do get star development for Puka. That was pretty much guaranteed. Unfortunately, we don't get it for Carson Strong, though. I don't really know what to do differently to get him star development. Unless he's going to get it for next season. Tui uh, Poloto does get star development. So does Reed Blankenship. You love to see that. So we're getting some good progression on defense, which is nice. But unfortunately, no development upgrades for Carson Strong. He's still no development. But season four, if he has another good season like this, he could certainly go up. That is for sure. That is a possibility. I didn't, unfortunately, do any negotiations. So we're going to have to do this really quickly. We'll accept the option on Christian Gonzalez. We'll just give a crazy contract to Martin Emerson because it literally doesn't matter what we pay him so we'll pay him that crazy contract he accepts bada bing bada boom uh dunze will accept the option on and then we will negotiate with harrison butker because we need a kicker so we'll do that we will offer on you although we offered you the first time in season one so we'll give him a, a big deal so we don't have to worry about him again and then darren hall i don't know we'll give you that how do you like that perfect he's coming back everybody's back again uh that's what we wanted to see We'll take a little little dip dip into free agency. See if there's anybody of interest. Probably not, though. 
and then we will move on to season four and it's a bunch of punters kickers and old corners i don't want any of them but i didn't think i was going to so let's get to the draft period oh i'm so excited i just want to get to seasons the next season pretty quickly so that we can see how good carson strong gets i'm so so excited to see how good he takes it's year number four he's got a good chance he's got a really good chance of getting star development this year he's had a, he's got a really good chance of having a fantastic year because we already saw he finished second in the league in passing yards this year and that's a sub 75 overall so now that he's got another year under his belt he's got three seasons of development he's got a great team around him we gotta hopefully see Carson Strong back in the top three of passing yards in season four if not the leader in the passing yards I want to see him have 30 plus touchdowns and I want to see him have 10 or fewer interceptions in season four if he has that that kind of season he will most certainly have himself a development trade upgrade and we might actually be making a playoffs we got a 73 overall right end a 71 receiver a 70 corner 71 another 70 receiver all right so nobody that great uh but as we get better we're gonna start to see lower draft picks because we're gonna have uh picks higher in the lower in the draft you, you know what i mean we're not gonna have as good draft picks because we're getting better as a team and we have seen slow progression we finished with five wins in season one six wins in season two and then 10 wins in season three so i mean we are seeing some progression from the boys in terms of wins Carson Strong, man, I need you to dominate. And there's one thing that I forgot about before we cut to the next simulation. I want to see, I mean, we might as well give Carson Strong every chance to do good. So I want to see, can we upgrade? Is there like a quarterback upgrade? Okay, here it is. We already have three in training for quarterback upgrades. So we don't have to worry about that, I guess. We might as well spend some of these points though. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but we have them. Might as well spend them. So we'll, we'll buy all this stuff, yada, 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 make Andy Reid the best he can possibly be. We'll buy that. I don't know if these affect anything in training, because it says they're in training, so I guess we could put Carson Strong in the, the training thing and see if that helps him. I don't think it would. Uh, let me just uh, Let me just go and do this really quickly. So we get a little bit of a discount. We're not going to be doing any trades or anything. You know what? I don't want to spend all these points. Taking too long. I don't want to go and spend those points. So let me go into weekly strategy and put Carson Strong in there. I don't know if it's going to affect anything, but let's just take you out. Uh, oops. Let's change you to Carson Strong. I don't know if it's going to change anything, but we might as well add him in there maybe it helps maybe it doesn't i don't know maybe the only way that it helps is if we actually go and simulate it and stuff i don't know we'll find out but i'm gonna simulate to the end of season number four and like i said i want to see some big big improvements from our guy carson strong season four has finished and we actually made the playoffs so we finished nine and eight so a little bit of a of a downgrade from our 10 win season season three but finishing nine and eight is pretty good because it made the playoffs so i'll take it <laughs> the the entire afc west was not great this year we all finished nine and eight except for the chargers uh but we made the playoffs we snuck in and carson strong i'm hoping is a good player now he is playing up to a 78 overall he's a 76 true talent quarterback he's getting there his accuracies are looking so much better this is one of the key reasons why i picked carson strong in the first place his accuracies are getting so much better. His awareness is getting better. Obviously, he already had the arm. Carson Strong, please have had a good enough season to get star development. Please, I need you to have star development. We are taking on the Buffalo Bills in the, the wildcard playoffs. Carson Strong, 4,000 yards, 28 touchdowns, 14 picks. So we didn't get any really of the the accomplishments i wanted him to have for season four but that's still a solid season oh no he has he has a quarterback of the future slash bridge qb as his tags that is not good i don't think pacheco had a really good year puka had another solid year that could be a superstar development from puka absolutely but i hope that 
Carson Strong doesn't get somebody. They don't draft somebody else because Carson Strong is has he has a bridge QB now, but he still has quarterback the future. So I don't know if that <laughs> counteracts each other. Like they they cancel each other out. We just won against the Bills in the playoffs. Oh my God. Okay, uh, not something I expected to happen. We really, really, really need star development from Carson Strong. Absolutely. Chiefs, Browns in the divisional round, Jags and Dolphins, and then it's Eagles, Cowboys, Commanders, and Vikings. It's going to be tough, but I think we can maybe do it. I mean, we're underdog. We're a, a miracle team. We're the seventh seed. Maybe we can get it done. Let's find out if we got it. Chiefs, Browns, divisional round. Are we going to win? We do. Oh my God, we beat them. 23 to 17. We just upset the number one seed. The Cleveland Browns have gone down. Oh my word. I cannot believe it. We take on the Dolphins, who beat the Jaguars. So it's a seven versus a five on both sides of the bracket. The Eagles fell to the Cowboys, and the Vikings lost to the Commanders. It is a five versus seven on both sides of the bracket. This is going to get crazy. Are we really going to get to the Super Bowl in season four with, with Carson Strong? Is that really a possibility? I guess we'll find out. Chiefs and Dolphins, I, I don't see any way, any way we win this. But I didn't think we were going to beat the Browns. And we don't win. 35-21, we lose to the Dolphins in the AFC title game. But that is some crazy progression from Carson Strong going from a 9-win 7 seed to the AFC title game. That is pretty good. And maybe that'll help in his chances of getting himself star development because he had such a good playoff run. I don't know, but we'll see if the Dolphins are Super Bowl champion material or if it's going to be Washington. Is it going to be Washington? Two five seeds have made the Super Bowl, and it is the Dolphins. They beat Washington 21-14, and they've got themselves a title now. Congratulations to Miami. It is going to be De uh, Devon, or Devon Achan. I sk still screw his name up. Tua wins MVP of the league, so the Dolphins must have just went crazy. Uh, Hertz and Garrett are your players of the year, but please, please, please tell me that we have ourselves development. Oh, he's still star, or he's still normal, but Pacheco and Puka are both superstar now. Very interesting. We're actually going to move Frazier above... Oh, we can't because he's a uh, he's the starting fullback. I was going to move Frazier above Travis Kelsey. I'll still do that, but we got to move him out of the fullback spot. And then we can move him to the starting tight end. And he's going to have a crazy season once strong. Nick Bolton is now superstar. Uh, Peppers is superstar, but everybody else seems to have stayed the same. All right. I can't believe that still four seasons deep, he has not gotten himself star development what do we have to do to get it to him i don't honestly know what we gotta do to get him star development but we're trying i'm trying in these streets we gotta sign all these players i'm literally just gonna give random contracts to everybody because it doesn't matter we just need everybody back so we're gonna give crazy contracts it's a good thing they want to come back too it helps that we're the chiefs and we have historic championships i don't know why i said it like that we have historic championships that really does help because everybody wants to come back and we're Super Bowl favorites, I guess. But we're just going to give crazy fat contracts to everybody just to get through this really quickly. Legereus Sneed, he's 30 at this point. That's kind of crazy. That shows you how far we've gone in this franchise. Let's see, who else do we want to bring back? Probably everybody, I would guess. Got to bring back Jabril Peppers, even though he's 31 at this point. We're gonna have to win a Super Bowl pretty soon, or our guys are starting to get or they're, are gonna start to get pretty old and bad, which is not something that I want. Jason Abraham, the guy that we took in that very first draft, or the guy that the CPU took in that very first draft, he's finally up for his extent or for his option. Deron Bland's 28 now. Got to keep pumping money into him. He's gonna come back perfect. Osa Digazua will bring back on a fat contract, give him a bag, and make sure that he will come back. Uh, Connor, I don't really know who this is. I'm not going to give him a crazy contract. If he doesn't want to come back, he's not going to come back. Uh, but he is going to come back. All right, perfect. Mike Edwards, I'll offer a deal to, only for depth purposes. And he's coming back. 
Uh, Wanya Morris. I don't even know who this is, really, but we'll offer him a contract. He's going to get paid. He's going to get some life-changing money. And then Drew Tranquil, I'll give you a fat contract, and you're going to come back. All right, perfect. That's everybody. I'll take one peek at the offseason or at the uh, free agency. Man, we need Carson to go up. We need him to have a good season five. We need him to have a good season five. I don't know what to do. We got Ram Chick, Deron Payne. Deron Payne might be good to replace Adigazua. You know what? I'll, I'll do that. I'll offer Deron Payne a contract. He can come in and, and play with... Did we get him? We got him. Okay, he can come in and play instead of Adigazua. And then maybe that'll help the team out a little bit. I don't know. I mean, we're 92s across the board. We're a good team. We just need to have our quarterback. That's the problem. This, If anything, this video is a like a, a notice telling every Madden player you have to have a quarterback if you want to play well. You can have all the good players in the league, but if you don't have a quarterback that's good, simulation's not going to be kind to you. But at least we're getting some progression for Carson Wentz. He's actually going up to almost an 80 overall at this point, so that's at least something. I'm happy about that. But other than that, we're not really seeing any crazy stuff happen. We'll simulate the draft, see what pick we get, but we're not going to have a good pick because we went to the AFC title game. So we're going to have probably, I would say, maybe 27, 28, maybe 29, around that range of the draft because we were the final four. Let's see who they took for us. Anybody good? I mean, they took an X-Factor tight end. We had pick 29, and they took a free safety 73 overall, left guard 74, another running back from Ohio State. Love it. 77. Okay, this actually was our, probably our best draft in terms of just getting guys that are 70 plus. Who knows if they'll affect anything? Probably not. I highly doubt it. But we can always see in the future. Going into season number five, it has to be make or break, right? It has to be make or break for, for the boys. So we're going to generate the best lineup. Carson Strong is almost an 80. He is a 76 overall. He needs to dominate. Joe Tooney has retired. So we have a left guard need, but that's okay. Shouldn't affect us too much. We're going to have Frazier start. Oh, nope, he can't start because he's at fullback again. So we'll have him there, and then we'll have Frazier start at tight end. And then on defense, Deron Payne's now the D tackle. So hopefully that should free up the defensive line and make that a little bit better. But we need Carson Strong, man. We need him to do good. I'm going to simulate the season. <sighs> this has to be the year, man. It has to be. We made the AFC title game last year. This has to be the year Carson Strong takes that next step. We've wrapped up season five, and Carson Strong has led this team to a 13-win season. And I'm assuming the two seed, since we're playing on Wild Card Weekend, we had to have been at the least the two seed. So... I'm excited, man. I told you I needed to see that progression. I needed to see it, and it looks like it's finally happened. Carson Strong has gotten himself, and look at Frazier. He's just taken off, which is exactly what I expected. But Carson Strong, he's playing up to an 81. His accuracies are getting real good. His awareness is getting real good. I'm finally starting to see the development from the boy. You love to see it absolutely amazing i just hope that whatever he's done this season has led him to star development he actually led the league in passing yards oh please tell me this is good enough 4600 yards he now only has bridge quarterback as his tag he doesn't no longer have quarterback in the future that is a little bit terrifying 4,600 yards, 25 touchdowns, 13 picks for Carson Strong this season. P uh, Pacheco had a really good year. Puka and Frazier both had really, really good years. Uh, defensively, Willie Gay and Nick Bolton both had amazing seasons. But Carson Strong led the league in passing yards. Please, please tell me that's going to be good enough for him to get start development. Because if he can get start development, then he can start to get even more XP and he can finally start to take off. We beat the Jets, which is nice. We beat the Jets. We're going to the divisional round. Remember, we played in the AFC title game last season. So now we take on the Baltimore Ravens, who are 11-6. It's Jags and Dolphins on the divisional side against the other divisional side of the, of the AFC bracket. Then it's Eagles, Commanders, and Bucks and Lions. Let's go see what happens. Ravens and Chiefs. I think this should be pretty simple. 
and we win 28-23 big W's so we take on the Jags in the AFC title game they were the team that got the one seed at 13 and 4 so they finished the same record as us they just happened to have the tiebreaker I guess so congratulations to them but we are in back-to-back -back AFC title games Bucks and Washington for the NFC title Eagles again lose maybe they're frauds I don't know oh man I do not want this to end but I also think the Jags are gonna be pretty tough they're always pretty tough in simulation we'll see let's get this started man Jags Chiefs Carson Strong can he make his first ever Super Bowl appearance and he does we beat them 35 to 17 these playbooks are really helping out my boy we're gonna be taking on the commanders who if I'm not mistaken were the lower seed right I'm pretty sure they were lower than the Bucks. They might have even been the seven seed. Were they the seven seed? They were. So it's a two versus seven. Washington has gotten themselves a little bit of a uh, miracle run here. And considering this isn't really what the rebuild is about, winning a Super Bowl, I might jump in because it's the first opportunity to win a Super Bowl, but this isn't what the rebuild's about. It's not about winning a Super Bowl. It's about seeing if we can get a 99 overall for Carson Strong. And we're, we're getting closer, but you know what? I'll jump in. It's the first one. If we make any more, I'll simulate them, uh, see, simulate through and see if we win them again. But since it's the first one, we might as well jump in and see if we can win one. We are here at the Super Bowl in Tampa. So if Tampa would have won their game in the NFC title game against Washington, we would have had a, a game against a, a team who was at home in the Super Bowl, which is really crazy. And Tampa would have been able to do it again because they, when Tom Brady was here, they had the Super Bowl at home and they won. So that would have been pretty crazy. But we are actually going to win the Super Bowl, ladies and gentlemen. We are actually going to win the bowl. And we'll see what Washington does here with seven seconds to go. Two seconds left. Can we call a timeout here? Oh, I wanted to call a timeout to use Carson Strong, but we got it done. Carson Strong is a Super Bowl quarterback. 41-21. to 21. He wins a Super Bowl, so he's right there alongside Patrick Mahomes now. But this wasn't the end goal. I mean, obviously, I wanted to win one, and we did. We got a championship, but this wasn't the end goal. The end goal was to see if we could get a 99 for Carson Strong. We're still a little bit of ways away from that, but we're doing pretty well. And now he's cemented himself as a Super Bowl winning quarterback. And I'm assuming he had a good season. Please, this has to mean he's going to go up to start development. It has to mean that. I mean, you can't have a quarterback who led the league in passing yards, goes to the Super Bowl, and wins it, and not give him start development for an upgrade. He's got to be a start development quarterback headed into season six. It has to happen. It absolutely has to happen. We will see. We will find out if it does. Oh, man, do I want that to be the case. Do I want that to be the case? I could end the video here since we've won a Super Bowl, but I want to see if, if Carson Wentz can get up to an 85, a 90 overall, or a 99 overall. Let's advance the week, get to the recap, see who won MVP. If, if Carson Wentz won MVP of the Super Bowl, that'd be crazy. That'd be so good for his progression. Let's see. He did not. It's Chris Jones. Uh, Jalen Hurts won MVP of the league and Offensive Player of the Year. Micah Parsons won Defensive Player of the Year. But we get it on the Super Bowl. Chris Jones gets an MVP. Good for him. Please show me star development for my quarterback. He's still... How is he not star development? What is this? He's still not star development. I don't see any other changes. Willie Gay, Willie Gay actually went up to star, so that's the only change that I did notice. How in the world is Carson Strong not a star development quarterback? It's like he just he's he's allergic to going up to star development. He just wants to stay at normal for so long. I don't understand it. I simply don't understand it. Oh, it's kind of frustrating actually. It's kind of kind of frustrating. You know what? Since we're in kind of uh, like just go mode now to see if we can get... We've already got our championship with, with Carson Wentz. I think I'm going to just skip through the offseason. You guys don't have to watch it. And then I will catch you guys at season 
the start of season or the end actually of season seven right we just finished season six yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do and then we'll just like speed run it till, till we see how long or how good carson wentz not carson wentz i knew i was gonna do that again uh how good carson strong is gonna get because remember we're trying to get him to a 99 overall so i'm gonna i'm gonna speed run through this i'll see you guys at the end of the next season Season six is in the books, or season seven even. I don't. I think it's season seven actually. Season seven is in the books. We went 15 and two, absolute domination. Take a look above my screen, of my camera. Carson Wentz has dom. I did it again. Carson Strong has dominated, led the league in everything. Oh my God, he's he's done it. He's arrived. 4,700 yards, 45 touchdowns to eight picks with a 73% completion percentage. Carson Strong is the real deal now. He's a defending Super Bowl winning quarterback. These even could be MVP numbers. They they very well could be. Puka had a great year. Frazier had another great year. I mean, it's possible that he could win MVP. I would love it if he did. It's very, very possible he wins MVP this year, but we've got a tough game against the Raiders here in the divisional round. I think we can get it done. I hope we can get it done. I mean, we had such a great year, and we do get it done. We take on the Baltimore Ravens, who we beat in the playoffs before. This shouldn't be too too difficult of a, of a challenge for us. Carson Strong, baby. One, in, one versus four on both sides of the brackets. Falcons, Cardinals on the other side. Let's go get it done. Big game here, Ravens Chiefs. Oh, I think we can get it done. We shouldn't really have to worry too much. And we do get it done. 23-17. Carson Strong is playing in his second Super Bowl in a row. We're not going to jump in for this one like I said last season. We only jumped in for that one because it was the first one. So, we will see if we can get it done against the boys do we get any progression right now or do we have to wait one more season i don't know or one more simulation it happens right now okay so carson strong is a superstar development he goes from normal to superstar in one fell swoop 95 throw power his accuracies are here they're good now his awareness is good i mean yes they're all playing up with morale but he is still an unbelievable player he's gone up to superstar dev he's got abilities now they're not going to be great abilities but he's got he's got the ability for abilities <laughs> carson strong 86 overall player well technically he's only an 80 but he's an 86 with the development or with the the morale boost let's go see if we can get him another super bowl we're gonna find out with this little simulation here, if Carson Strong is a two-time Super Bowl champion or not, is he a back-to-back -back winner in the Super Bowl? It is! 27-24, the Chiefs have won two straight Super Bowls, and Carson Strong is solidifying himself as the greatest quarterback of all time. The MVP of the Super Bowl is Nick Bolton. Unfortunately, Joe Burrow had a better season than Carson Strong, so Joe Burrow takes home MVP of the league. Bijan and Micah Parsons are the players of the year. But that's that's okay because we saw the progression from, from Carson Strong, ladies and gentlemen. We saw it. We saw him go up to superstar development. That's exactly what we want to see. Exactly what we want to see. Expertly done. He's going to take that next step and hopefully become a 99 overall it's finally happened it's taken a long time it's grinded we have grinded this out but he is finally starting to become oh i didn't even mention we took his brother jay strong from utah state funny enough carson strong's from nevada and jay strong went to utah state so his younger brother maybe they were uh lost at birth separated at birth younger brother jay strong is now on the team but it's not his team it's carson's team and i'm gonna simulate like i did last time to the end of season i think would it would be season eight right so i'd, I'd be simulate to the end of that and we'll pick up with carson strong's development from there we've gotten to the end of season number eight 
And I think we have solidly proven that the playbooks matter a whole lot, especially when you can get a, a quarterback like Carson Strong from a 56 overall and develop him or with a good team around him. I think that we've proven that these playbooks are pretty overpowered. 16 and one. And Carson Strong had 5,100 yards. Please tell me nobody had a better season than that. Please tell me this is MV. Oh my God, it has to be. 5,100 yards even, which is hard to do. 45 touchdowns to just four interceptions with a 72% completion percentage. And he's gotten himself off of that bridge quarterback tag. And he's gotten himself franchise QB. Carson Strong is the real deal. Pacheco had a great year as well. Frazier had a phenomenal year. Puka, Brandon Ayuk had a good year as well. Defensively, Nick Bolton, pretty good as well. I mean, I said as well a lot, didn't I? <laughs> I need to see MVP of the league for Carson Strong. I mean, it just has to happen, right? It has to happen. There's no other way around it. He has to be the MVP. As we beat the Bills, that was pretty much a foregone conclusion that we were going to beat Buffalo there. And now it should be the same deal with the Dolphins. They aren't that good. And uh, it's Packers-Cowboys on the other side, and it's us versus the Dolphins. Pretty simple. Should be fairly simple for this game. Chiefs-Dolphins. We went 16-1. There's no business losing this game. We have no business. And we don't. 24-21. We actually got a little bit closer than I would have liked. But we do move to the Super Bowl for the third straight year. I feel like if we win the Super Bowl and the MVP with Carson Strong, I feel like then we'll wrap up the video there because we've proven everything we needed to prove. It's just going to take too long for him to get to a 99. He might never get to a 99 overall, but I think we've proven that he has gotten himself where he needs to be. It's a one versus one, the two best teams in the NFL playing against each other. It's Super Bowl week now, so let's take a look at some development trade upgrades before we simulate this game. Let's take a look at these development traits. We've got X Factor for Carson Strong. He's arrived. He's finally gotten it. I'm so happy that we've gotten him up there. We'll change his ability just for the heck of it. We'll give him Bazooka because he's got the, the throw power. But Carson Strong has got next. Yeah, so if we win the Super Bowl here against the Packers and he wins MVP of the league, we've already ticked off the X factor. We're not going to get 99 overall, which is unfortunate, but we've already been going for, what, eight seasons now? He, it's going to be too difficult to get him 99. He's already getting older. He is, what, a 29? Over? Yeah, he's 29 years old. He's not going to get up to a 99 overall. It's going to be too difficult. So he's an X factor. We've ticked that part off. We've gotten him already two Super Bowls. If we get a third one, he'll be... A, a Hall of Famer, but he needs to win that MVP too, and I think he might have gotten it. So if we can get those last two things checked off, then we'll wrap up the video. But let's go find out. This is it. Packers, Chiefs for the Super Bowl. If Carson Strong wins it, he's established himself as the greatest. He has established himself as the greatest if he wins it. 29 to 28 we barely get it done oh my god that was way closer than i would have wanted it but that's to be fair the two best teams in the in football both one seeds you would expect it to be a close game and carson strong has done it he's not only won three super bowls in a row he's got the super mvp he's got the regular season mvp carson strong has accomplished everything we needed to accomplish with him except for uh getting to a 99 overall but he has gotten everything he needed to accomplish the last thing that i want to take a look at i clicked the wrong thing the last thing that i want to take a look at is his legacy score i want to see where we got him to by the end of this video so if we go to quarterbacks carson strong has moved into the top 10 in quarterbacks he's got himself three super bowls three afc titles and five awards I don't know what those five awards could be, but he's got five awards. So we have gotten him into the top 10 in quarterback conversation with a a great... Oh, he didn't... No, he's 7,000 for the season. He's got 15,000 for his career. I was reading that wrong. He's got 15,000 for his career. He is a top five... Well, technically, he's a top 10 quarterback, but he is only a little bit behind his 
predecessor or the guy that he stole the job from Patrick Mahomes who is only up here because he's still on the team that's why he's got five Super Bowls we we've kept him around this entire time he's got those extra Super Bowls so that's why his legacy score is going up as well uh Carson Strong would have passed him by now if we would have just cut him but Carson Strong's legacy score he's gonna be a Hall of Famer he is going to be a Hall of Famer, and I think that's going to be where we wrap up the video. We've done everything we needed to accomplish except for get him a 99 overall, but I just don't see that happening in the, the span of his career because he's already 29, and he's playing up to an 88, but he's playing up five morale. So he's only a true 83 overall. So he's at 29 years old and an 83 overall. He's, he's not going to get up to a 99 anytime soon. But I had a lot of fun. Carson Strong we've proven he's 30 years old now we've proven that it can be done if you have everything going your way if you have great pieces around a quarterback and you play with Kansas City's playbook and Dallas's playbook it can be done where you can take a quarterback who is a 56 overall to an 88 overall with morale boost and the, the the stuff going up if I remember right in editing I will take a screenshot of his his core attributes from when he was a 56 overall when we first started the video and I'll put side by side with what he looks like now uh, and you can see that that upgrade and you can see his his development so Carson Strong three-time Super Bowl champion an MVP of the league he's got a Super MVP he's the greatest of all time he's a top five legacy score quarterback I think we can wrap up the video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watch. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you have any ideas for, like, let's say we take a, a certain quarterback and a couple of playbooks and you want to see that, let me know. Give me some different options of playbooks that you think are overpowered and quarterbacks that you see you want to see uh, taken to that next level. So let me know down below any suggestions. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I truly appreciate it. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. And as always... Thank you so much for stopping by and watch. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Happy New Year, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.